Hello, welcome to Math Talk. I'm your host, Brian Heisler, and today we're going to talk about mean, median, and mode. So the mean of a set of data is basically the average of that set. What you do is you add up all the numbers and divide by however many there are. The median is the number that's in the middle of your data set once they're arranged from least to greatest. Um, it's very important that they are from least to greatest or else your median might be a different number than what it should be. Um, if there happens to be two middle numbers, you just take the average of those two. The mode of your data set is the one that occurs most often. Mode means most. Uh, in a data set, you can have no mode, you can have one number that's a mode, or you can have a few different numbers that are the mode because they all occur the most amount of times. So let's go through two examples to show you how to figure out what each of these are. So this example, this example, it says find the mean, median, and mode for the set of numbers listed there. What I like to do first when I'm trying to find these three things is I put my numbers in order from least to greatest. Not only because that's how you do it for the median, but it just it's for me it's a lot easier to see. So I'm going to go ahead and do that to start off. Um, let's see. So we have five, we have uh, ten, twelve. 15, a couple 18s, and a 20. So now they're in order, I can start figuring out mean, median, and mode. So to find the mean, I'm going to add them all up and divide by however many there are. So let me get the calculator real quick. All right, so let's see. So we have 5, 10, 12, 15, 18, 18 again, and 20. So when I add all these up, I get 98. So let's see, 98. And I'm going to divide that by 7 because that's how many numbers there are. Divide by 7. I get 14. So that means the mean or average of these numbers is 14. All right, let me get rid of that. The median. The median is the number that's in the middle of your data set. So if I look at my data, there's seven numbers, which means the fourth number is the one in the middle. So one, two, three, four, this is my median, 15. And that one's really easy. Mode is just as easy. You look for the number that occurs the most. In this case, there are two 18s and everything else only shows up once. So that means 18 has to be the mode. All right, so let's try one more example just to further emphasize how to find each of these three things. Determine the mean, median, and mode for the set of datas. This time I have four numbers, so the first thing that I like to do is write them in order from least to greatest. So let me do that. I have 143, uh, 145, 166, and 172. All right, next, the mean. I'm going to add up the four numbers and divide by four. So let me grab my calculator real quick. Bring it down. So let's see, 143 plus 145 plus 166 and 172. So add them all up, I get 626. And I want to divide that by four, because there's four numbers in my data set. Divide by four, I get 156.5. So, something to note here is we have a decimal as our average. And that's perfectly fine. Um, you, even if all of your numbers are whole numbers, the average can be a decimal. It's not always going to work out where the sum of your numbers is going to be evenly divisible by however many there are. So don't freak out. Usually if this happens, they'll tell you round to the nearest tenth, round to the nearest hundredth, and you can go on from there. So there's that. Now let's look at the median, the middle number in our data set. Well, in this one, there are two middle numbers, 145 and 166. So I got to find the average of those two numbers. So to find the average, I need to add them up and divide by 2. So if I add these two up, I'm going to get 311. 
which you can verify on a calculator if you needed to. And I'm going to divide by 2. Once I do that, I'm going to get my answer of 155.5. which is actually really close to the mean. So that's good. Now let's look for the mode. The mode is the number that occurs the most. Well, in this case, all of our numbers only occur one time, which means there is no mode. There is no number that occurs most often. So in this case, our mode is none. So I hope this helps when you get to questions that ask for mean, median, and mode. Put the numbers in order, Find the average, find the middle, and find the most. Good luck. Your education will add up when you visit us at GEDS.com. For future tips and videos, be sure to subscribe and follow.